command. Now, what seems to be the problem? Are you lost? Follow me! Guide us to victory. command. Now, what seems to be the problem? Your uh, are you calling me? Hmm, no escaping for you. Come out, my son. Fight for me! Well, victory is deserved. It's a good thing that Valen stayed behind. These Gruglins could have posed threats to the refugees. During my patrol earlier, I noticed that the Gruglins around here are more violent than usual. Gruglins going crazy for no apparent reason? And strange crops absorbing leyline magic? This is just like what happened in Hollowstone. Nonsense. Why would there be a connection between them? Perhaps the Wilders only imposed the exclusion edict to protect us from the Gruglins in this area. Uh, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I suppose that's too good of an explanation. The Gruglins in the forest weren't this aggressive before I left. Could it be that grapes from Ryham have grown around here too? Ugh, I can't wrap my head around this. Do you have any clues? Oh right, I remember there's one nearby. Apart from here, corruption is also spreading in the depths of the forest. It's called corruption because it affects plants, making them look like they've decayed. Clearing out the decayed parts won't prevent them from regenerating, much like the grapes near Ryan. Words may not suffice. Come with me and I'll show you. This chaotic and oppressive magic feels quite similar to what I sensed in Southville. But it's much stronger. And more ominous. Uh... Um, I'm not feeling well. Chippy! Hammy! Are you okay? Magister! What's going on? What just happened to Hammy? Hammy, stay strong! Our Magister is here! You're gonna be okay! Hey, let me take care of little Miss Hamster. You find a way to tackle that corruption. Hmm. Can you clear out these corrupted roots using the method that worked for the vineyard? I'm counting on you. Besides you, I can't imagine anyone else or any other way to completely eradicate them. Please, do your best.
Magister, thank you for purifying the corruption. B Brian? He's Brian, a wind whisperer just like me. It's been a while. What brings you here? Lawson, my lord, your return was accompanied by incessant clamor. My endeavor in obliviousness proved notably successful. Stop, stop, stop. Don't call me that. Huh? His status remains a mystery to all of you. Lawson is Master Arden's student, and among the younger generation of the Wind Whisperers. He stands out as the most exceptional. Within the Dark Forest, the Dusk Patrollers, Wind Whisperers, and Thorn Guards symbolize heritage, perception, and protection, respectively. Each of the three factions appoints a sage, and unitedly they rule. Master Arden is the representative of the Wind Faction, with Lawson acclaimed as one of his stellar apprentices, specifically renowned for his mastery in Wind Whispering. Hey, you make it sound like I'm bad at other things. Of course not. Apart from running out of the forest seeking aid, neglecting daily tasks of the Whisper Web, you are flawless. Ah, don't call me that. Let's just get down to business already. Hey, Brown, meet my friend. She's the great ma Magister I brought back from Hollistone. I've heard. Are you aware that the corrupted roots require regular uprooting, or else they'll regenerate? Normally, it takes several weeks for the corrupted roots to regrow after removal, yet presently, they manage to reach the current state in a matter of days. As you've seen, she does have the power to eliminate them. It's best if you see it that way. As a wind whisperer, my duty lies in the delivery of messages. Hence, could I implore you to visit the station of the Dusk Patrollers? Discussing with Captain Lyka, who is in charge of eradicating these corrupting routes, could significantly improve the effectiveness of information sharing. Lyka? It's nothing. Mr. Corrin, you seem like you require some help too. The wind brings the cries of distant refugees. Huh. Took you some time to remember the plight of the refugees, huh? You lot are a far cry from the wilders I've ever met. Please, quell your anger. The exclusion edict was issued by Master Eomir, and the Thorn Guards are merely carrying out the order. I, as a wind whisperer, possess no influence to contest their determinations. Captain Lyka will articulate the particulars. Come with me, if you will. I come to protect. Yes, as you command. Now, what seems to be the problem? For the god of... You're not even worth getting up for. Uh, are you calling me?
a great victory, the glory of which belongs to each and every warrior. Oh my, looks like someone is doing it. Everything down? Oh well. Well, victory is deserved. I heard from the patrollers that there were bandits nearby, so I hurried over. Lawson, it's ridiculous. Years go by, not a peep from you. Not even a letter. Brian sent you messages through the wind, and you just ignored us. Well, he did respond with a single word. Acknowledged. Well, I was in a hurry to bring us back a savior. Oh, sorry. Are these your friends? Hi, I'm Laika, captain of the Dust Patrollers. Lawson has been a bit of a troublemaker since he was young. I'm sorry if he caused any trouble for you along the way. Come on, sister, it's been three years. Can't we catch up for a moment without digging into the past? Uh-huh. We both have the same ears. Despite the similar ears, Lawson and I are different. I don't have the innate talent for wind whispering. Let's chit-chat later. Are you the captain of the Dusk Patrollers? Are you aware that the bandits were deliberately causing trouble for the Wilders? Purposefully stirring up conflicts between the two communities? With the exclusion edict in place, skilled bandits can vanish easily, but defenseless refugees have nowhere to run. Where are your arrows pointing then? Sir, I'm aware of the bandits. Then why? I've been meaning to apologize for this. The Thorn faction has always leaned towards conservatism, not wanting outsiders to disturb the peace of the forest. A while back, the Thorn Guards proposed blocking the entrance to the forest. There were rumors later on saying humans brought in the corrupted seeds. 
with corruption spreading in the forest and all those bandit problems, it gave them more reasons to act. Even in the once liberal Dusk faction and the neutral Wind faction, more and more people are starting to agree with the Thorn Guards. What? What about Granny Donnie? And Old Man Arden? Did they not stand up against the Thorn Guards? The Three Sages. Lawson, the Dark Forest is a very different place now than it was when you left. However, sir, despite the internal strife amongst the Wilders, it shouldn't be a reason for us to fail our refugee friends. I should apologize to you and those who are suffering. Factual disputes, I see. At least there were no armed clashes. You have your reasons. However, those refugees have been driven to the docks with nowhere to go. Can anything be done? Lyca is the mage that Lawson invited to cleanse the corrupted roots. Should we guide them to Lunador? Please inform Master Dani, leader of the Dusk faction, that the situation might bring about a turning point to this whole ordeal. Really? Can you really clear out the corrupted roots? Remarkable. The patrollers had to keep a fire going for hours just trying to cleanse one spot. Even then, those roots soon grew back again. But your altercation of the magic flow can substantially decelerate the pace of regeneration. In that case, the patrollers would finally have time to help the refugees. Good lady, let me take you to Lunadorf right now. Come to protect. Go! 
Amazing! I've been away from home for so long, but the lucent tree is still so beautiful. Let me proudly present to you the grand tree with a canopy resembling the night sky and sparkling with a galaxy of stars. The lucent tree. It is said that this is a divine tree planted by the goddess of the earth and the rivers. Misate herself. Those who first arrived in the dark forest laid the foundation for the villages beneath its majestic canopy, paving the way for the prosperity we witness today. The pioneers of Lunadorf even planted a small tree, inspired by the great lucent tree. But there's nothing special about that one. Well, let's pause the nostalgia here. We'll be arriving at Lunadorf soon. Well, victory is deserved. Yes, as you command. Now, what seems to be the problem? It's time to show you my moves! You're not even worth getting up for. Come out, my servant, and fight for me!
great materials are everywhere. What 
tough fight. Yes, as you can. Yes, as you command. Now, what seems to be the problem? Looks like someone needs a little more. Oh um, my. Yes, as you command. Now, what seems to be the problem? Yes, as you command. Now, what seems to be the problem? Whew. What a tough oh my. Whew. What a tough fight. Abandoned shoes, scattered mats, toppled tents, and unfinished mushroom soup? Looks like they left in a hurry. They mentioned being initially permitted to enter the forest for a brief respite. However, they were suddenly expelled by armed guards in the middle of the night. Just look at the chaos left behind. I arrived when they were fleeing in disarray. There were hardly any young men capable of protecting them. I retired from the army long ago. I came to the Dark Forest, looking for someone. No wonder. Those refugees don't look like they can afford to shell out money and hire a guard. You are such a nice guy. Well, I have my reasons. How am I supposed to find anyone if there's an exclusion edict? Helping the refugees just happened... The Thorn Guards used to be different. While they were conservative, many guards risked their lives when hyperfiends were rampant safeguarding the peace of the forest. But now with the corruption, disturbances in the forest and Master Eomir's influence, they have become radical to such an extent. Hmm, Master? The title of Sage should be reserved for those who make wiser decisions. Despite being strict, everyone respects Master Eomir as he once led the guards at the forefront against the Hyperfiends. The teachings we received from childhood were that wind whisperers heed the forest's whispers. Dust patrollers embrace its goodness while thorn guards keep the peace. The three factions support and assist each other. As of now, 
Yes. Let us go! We're only looking for healing. I don't know who you're looking for, but we didn't do anything. Leave us alone! Hey, did you hear people calling for help? Could it be that the Thorn Guards are evicting people again? Come on!